Hi everyone, welcome back to Legend Any. Where is the best place to watch the New Year's Eve fireworks in Hong Kong? It totally depends on whether you are traveling alone, as a couple, in a big group, and which type of atmosphere you prefer for that New Year's Eve night. We prioritize enjoying some delicious food and drinks in a cozy and laid back atmosphere with amazing frontal views on the fireworks. We were lucky enough to simply walk into Konpachi and were given the last two available seats on that night. Last year for New Year's Eve, in Konpachi, the minimum spend per person was approximately 115 US dollars throughout the night, which was very reasonable for these exclusive and spectacular views on the fireworks. The food and drinks were really great. I mean, who doesn't love sizzling beef over rice, different bottles of sake, cocktails with a view, an unatama don with grilled eel and Japanese egg, snow crab and avocado sushi rolls, skewered beef tongue, and more. Actually, you could simply watch the fireworks for free and bring your own booze. For example, at the Avenue of Stars or actually among the entire waterfront stretch in Sim Shatsui. The only thing is that it will be extremely crowded with people on the streets and you need to get there super early to secure a great front row spot. There are also many other great restaurants or rooftop bars in Hong Kong which often require a much higher minimum spend or you need to buy even a pricey ticket to enter. Since normally people spend a couple days in Hong Kong and want to see more than just the New Year's Eve fireworks, I hope you enjoy my Hong Kong vlog in the next couple of minutes as well, where I show you a few things you should definitely see when visiting this city. Once you land in Hong Kong, Take the airport express towards the city center to get to your hotel. At the airport, you should get an octopus travel card, which can be used for most public transport in Hong Kong. And you can top up with money as you go. For example, you can use the octopus card for the Star Ferry Ride, which takes you from Wan Chai Ferry Port on Hong Kong Island across Victoria Harbor to Tim Sha Tsui in Kowloon. This allows you to get some nice views at the start of your trip. Look at the beautiful skyline along Victoria Harbour. In Kowloon, there are some nice markets, like this flea and street shopping market called Ladies Market. Here you can find some nice souvenirs and test your negotiation skills to fetch some good prices. Or some food markets where you can grab some snacks in between the sightseeing. If you are lucky, you might even encounter some cool street performers. When it comes to sightseeing, the number one on the list is probably the peak which gives you these amazing views of Hong Kong. Once you get to the entrance of the Peak Tram, which is located near Central MTR station, you can use your octopus card to use the tram and then enjoy the quick ride to the top. If you're looking for some exercise, you could even walk up instead, which is supposed to take only one hour. On the way up, you can already get a taste of the breathtaking views. In order to get to the observation deck, located at 428 meters above sea level height, you'll need to go to the most upper level in the mall via the escalators. At the top, you will use your octopus card again to pay for the entry to the sky terrace to enjoy the full perfect views. Take some cool selfies at the peak, which has been a favorite retreat for Hong Kong's wealthy since the 19th century due to its cooler temperatures and stunning views. Hiking is always on our list during vacations. And on this trip, we chose a pretty easy hike called the Dragon's Back. For this, we took the MTR from our hotel near Wan Chai to Shao Kei Wan Station. And from there, we took the bus number nine. After a 20 minute bus ride, we got to the entrance of the trail at Shek O Road to begin our hike. You come across some nice viewpoints, which was super enjoyable to spend a day outside the city and immerse yourself in mother nature. The Dragon's Back was named the best urban hike in Asia by Time Magazine. From the trail, you can enjoy panoramic views of Shek O Beach, Big Wave Bay and the South China Sea. Another must visit place is the Avenue of Stars. It's great for people watching and along the waterfront, you can find handprints which honor the celebrities of the Hong Kong film industry. If you get tired from walking, walk over to the K11 Art Mall and for example watch a movie at the Art House Cinema like us 
I mean, have you ever watched a movie in Cantonese with English subtitles? If you spend your Christmas days in Hong Kong, you will find the city festively decorated. This shows the area around Times Square, and if you walk into the different malls, you will see lots of Christmas displays, which can be really fun for the kids, as there can be clingy Christmas teddy bears chasing mall visitors like here. You'll see that the city is super well connected, not only underground via MTR, but on street level via the trams. Make sure to enter the trams through the door in the back. The tram is quite narrow and I prefer sitting upstairs to enjoy the views. You only pay when you exit the tram at the front door by tapping out with your Octopus card or credit card. The fare price, by the way, is fixed, no matter how many stops you take. At night, enjoy some cocktails at the Iron Fairies cocktail bar and during the day, check out the mid-level escalators in the city center, which is the longest outdoor covered escalator system in the world. Along the escalators are tons of restaurants, cafes, cute shops to check out. If you have some more time and want to get out of the city for a more relaxing laid back vibe, take the bus to the seaside village Stanley and spend a couple hours exploring the market and enjoy some food by the ocean. Christmas normally calls for a feast and we treated ourselves to the buffet at the JW Marriott where we had a great mix of Western and Asian food ranging from lamb racks to beautiful scallops, abalone, wonton noodles with bouncy shrimps and much more. Definitely worth a visit. If you have not checked out my last video on my channel where I show you the must eats in Hong Kong, please go watch it after this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and get to enjoy the fireworks in Hong Kong one day as well. If you're watching this video before New Year's Eve, I wish you a happy new year in advance. Have a great one and see you in my next video.